does not feel like you're in Turkey. This, for for me at least, as an American, feels a lot like New Orleans with these old wooden houses. And I'm gonna boldly say this is the best ice cream we've had in Turkey so far. That's original ingredients, natural. Yeah. So good. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> That's why. They use real pistachio. Yeah, I can tell the color's not too green. It's perfect. is Bucada, which is the biggest island of all the Princess Islands. I know that there's islands right across from Istanbul. We didn't either until a few days ago. Until our hosts keep bugging us about <laughs> Princess Island. So today, we don't have a solid plan of what we're going to do here in Princess Island. But what we know for sure is we're here in Princess Island. Yeah, and the largest in Bukata, I think that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> our hosts at our Airbnb highly recommended to come check this place out. And it's really cool is that we're in a big island about an hour away. You can see the whole city right across the water here. It's in the Sea of Marmara, so it's a pretty big island with a lot of history to it. And yeah, so we're just gonna walk around because yep. we've heard many good things about this place, especially for beautiful sightseeing. So that's what we're on the hunt for. Of course, we're gonna mix in a little food here and there. Here and there. It's not really a food destination, this place. This is more just see. If you're in Istanbul, you can't not come to Yeah, here. it's like a little quick getaway. You can could, you could hop on just the regular public ferry and be here in about an hour and 20 minutes. And it's so beautiful, we're surrounded by water and a beautiful view of Asian side of Istanbul. Mm -hmm. And then on this side, we're surrounded by really old buildings wow. and architectures. And most of them are houses and some of them, they turned it into like restaurants uh, downstairs. But um, wow. it is so it's beautiful beautiful. And the weather is pleasant today. Wow. We're Not here. Too hot, but still very clear sky, sunny, little breeze. We're under the sun, there's no shade, and it feels so pleasant. Yeah, this is the last of the islands. There's four large islands and five smaller islands here in the Princess Islands. All right, so come away with us as we take you around Princess Island. We're starving. We had a little bit of snack on our way here. The ferry ride was an hour 20. So we have to get some snacks in, but this is our first bite here in Princess Island. This is also our first time having a baked potatoes stuffed with a lot of things, mostly vegetarian. It's called kumpir. Solid. I mean, it's a baked potato. It's nice to add these little things. It's, you know, it's a baked potato. It's not really that much to describe, but it's big, it's satisfying, it's definitely filling. If you just buy yourself, I think it would be pretty full. get on the steps because what is a symbol if it's not steep I'm gonna go all the way up there we can do this On this 
island, there are no gas operated vehicles. Everything's electric and there's a lot of bikes. You can rent a bike here. And there used to be horse carriages, but due to many issues, including animal cruelty and a lot of the horses that passed away, they decided to ban horse and carriages from the island, which is a good thing. It's nice because uh, they want to keep the pollution down. That's why you don't see any gas powered vehicles. They don't want pollution on this island. The photos you're going to see in Google are photos of Princess Island with horse carriage, but they no longer exist presently. Walking through the streets does not feel like you're in Turkey. This, for, for me at least as an American, feels a lot like New Orleans with these old wooden houses and mansions. It's beautiful. These terraces, like, you could just walk down these streets all day long and admire them. It is stunning. I think it's worth coming to this island just to see these old mansions alone. It is beautiful. And we still have more to explore. Pleasant walk. Oh, oh, so under, peaceful. Under the shade, little breeze, sun is shining on us. Mm, beautiful. When you first get off the boat, you may be a little dismayed of just of all the madness and how hectic it is. You know, it looks like your typical touristy center when you come in. You take about a five to ten minute walk and you're surrounded by this beautiful, serene, incredible mansion. Some of the most beautiful I've seen anywhere in the world. Uh, that's no exaggeration. It's beautiful. It's very well taken care of. Like a lot of like flowers, trees. It is lovely. It's just very shady to walk down to. After that steep walk, hmm, I deserve this. We're actually heading to somewhere. It's a cool viewpoint, but we need some break. And this one is portakal or orange juice. We need a little bit of uh, sugar in our system because all that sweat and energy that we've been using. Wow, fresh orange juice. So sitting here made me realize that we needed a break from the crowded places of Istanbul. This feels like we're far away from the city, but we're actually not. We just took an hour and 20 minutes ferry ride and we're here in this oasis. Fresh air, open space. Hmm. I don't know if you can see it, but too many pine cones. And I can only imagine this place in winter time when it's cold. The smell must be overwhelming. <laughs> so cool, this place, like we were walking up the hill, we're walking through this viewpoint. So this is like a little oasis in the middle. We knew we had to stop, we saw the fresh squeezed orange juice. But look at this whole spot. A bunch of tables, get a view of the water. It looks like they also cook kebabs in that grill over there. <laughs> This orange juice tastes so fresh. And there's some pops in here. Mmm. That's when you know it's fresh. All right, guys. We feel energized and it's time to go or head to the next destination or next stop. All the recent forest fires here in Turkey, they've actually blocked off this area that's very dry and they warn you don't throw cigarette butts, don't light anything. Looks like this. They have 
segregated benches all over the place for a quick stop. We are almost there. Almost there. A few more steps and a few more minutes and we're gonna get there. Alright, so we made it to the top of this hill. We're at Aya Yorgi. It's um, actually an old Greek Orthodox church. It's back hundreds of years. Really cool. It's a fun fact about this island that there was a large Greek community here back in the day. And it's beautiful. It's really worth the hike up no matter how strenuous it is because you get these views. And there's a little cafe over here we're going to go check out. Fuel up again. We're going to refuel after all that we just lost. <laughs> Delicious. So eggplant salad, oof. This eggplant tastes really good. Maybe that's the, it's the hike, but... Mm. Very smoky, really good. Not too salty or anything like that. It's really that nice smoky eggplant flavor, really good. Just plain eggplant. Fresh kebab. Mmm, mmm, wow. Chicken is so well marinated, so smoky. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> and then if you, especially if you add some herbs in it, there's oregano, I think. Tomato. Mm. That is delicious. Wow. The sun is slowly setting down. Sunsets right here, and you have a view of the entire, mostly entire Istanbul here. Mm -hmm. and, and on this side, you get views of some of the other Princess Islands. Really cool. There's actually nine Princess Islands. We <laughs> call the uh, Prikipos. It's like that means prince in Greek. Time to go back down, fueled up, energized. Yep. A little warning, if you feel like biking to here, just don't because you gotta have to push your bikes like these guys are doing. It is too steep for bikes. So proud of ourselves. We set a goal, lofty goal. Started from here, okay, the port, all the way to the top. Can't see it, Somewhere but... Up there. <laughs> It's really high up there, very steep, and back on foot to see our, how many steps we get in now? 16,000 steps, wow. So one thing Turkey is known for is a special kind of ice cream. They call it here dondurma. And we're at a spot here, it's called Sariyer, and it's got a great mix of flavors. We got three of them, because that's how good the flavor variety is. We got tahin, tahini, got kave, ka uh, coffee, and fistic uh, pistachio. Man, I don't even know where to begin. Let's go coffee. Oh. Strong coffee flavor, really good. Mm. Try to get that tahin. Ooh, that tahini's nice. Really got that sesame flavor, like a tahini. Oh man, that's really one of the most unique ice cream flavors we've had here. Is the tahini. Anytime you see it, if you're in Turkey, get it. Of course, pistachio can't go wrong. Just take the pistachio. Look at the bits of pistachio in there. Take a bite. Mm. Part of what makes Turkish ice cream special, they use uh, like a root. Usually it's mastika, it's like mastic, it's like it stretches the ice cream a little bit. Also makes it not melt as easily, which is nice, especially in hot weather. But I'm gonna boldly say this is the best ice cream we've had in Turkey so far. We've had a decent amount of it already at Istanbul. This is the best. You really can taste the quality of flavors. And the flavor variety is incredible too. That's original ingredients, natural. Yeah. So good. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> That's why. They use real pistachio. Yeah, I can tell the color's not too green, it's perfect. No chemicals. Yeah. 
It's delicious. Uh, ice cream. Original beetroot sugar. Ooh. Wow. Uh, they use uh, a special uh, root which gives uh, a little bit elasticity to it. Oh, yeah, the mastica? Almost like mastica. Yeah. Ah. Uh, it's a flower, it's a plant, a, a, root, a root of the plant. Mm. Mm. And they use, if you uh, have uh, milk, they use, <coughs> it comes from cows here. Wow. From the island. One. Oh, my yeah. <laughs> <laughs> favorite. My favorite is the uh, is this one my favorite melon? Melon? This yeah. melon is lemon. Lemon. You, lemon. Is your favorite? Is this all of <laughs> He just brought for you to taste. Oh, ah, thank you so much. Thank Lemons you. are also coming from the island. Wow, it's really special. Very nice. Ice cream is best we've had in Turkey yeah. so far. Exactly. Wow. This is not oh me. my That's god. Real fruit. Lemon. Is this a kaymak? Yeah, kaymak. Mm. Wow, this lemon is Ooh, I the love real lemon. deal. I love lemon. Let me try. <laughs> That's uh, melon. Wow. Real lemon taste. Yeah. Amazing. They the make melon? A coconut as well. <gasps> wow. Oh, and I had to tell them last year, <laughs> would you like a flavor? I said, okay. My favorite one is mango or coconut. Mm. Obviously, in Turkey, mango is. Oh. Too yeah. But coconut still you can make. Oh. And they make coconut. Wow. It is unbelievable. Departure as an order. That coffee ice cream is incredible too. Real, real oh. coffee. Yeah, I taste it. Yeah. Tahin, all great flavors. The this melon is. The melon is very subtle. Wow. Wow. Everything is natural. Wow. Wow. I just don't even like melon much. This is great. It's very, very subtle. Like, Not really good melon taste. Wow. This is a coconut. Oh, thank you. Mm. That coconut is killer. Wow. We made it to the ferry. What a day! So happy!